Hey everyone, scraping Amazon is a complex task when you're doing it 24-7, as opposed to just making a few requests. If you need to extract information from over 45,000 products daily, you'll face a number of challenges. Persistent blocking of proxy IP addresses, multiple CAPTCHAs, 500 errors, rotating your proxies and finding clean residential proxies, continually modifying the script logic to remain undetected, browser freezes and system crashes when running on my Linux servers, Amazon constantly changes its approaches to detecting web automation and scraping. You have to add random or fake actions, retries, timeouts, and rotate proxies to counter this. This increases the complexity of the task required to achieve high-quality results. Today I want to introduce you to an exciting new project that's about to change the way we automate browsers for web scraping. It's called SurfSky, and it's currently in public testing, so it's completely free to use right now. And let me tell you, it's packed with powerful features that you won't find anywhere else. So what exactly is SurfSky? It's a browser automation platform that uses advanced fingerprint spoofing technology. This means it can prevent anti-bot systems from detecting bot signatures, making it much easier to automate tasks like scraping websites. It emulates both Windows and Mac OS environments using real browser fingerprints. Unlike other services, it operates via CDP, meaning you can work with familiar automation tools like Puppeteer, Playwright, and Selenium. But what really impressed me is that SurfSky goes beyond typical browser automation. It saves the entire browser state. Cookies, extensions, local storage, history, and even bookmarks. Imagine starting a scraping session, pausing it, and then resuming exactly where you left off. It's like closing a browser on your own computer and reopening it with everything intact. I'll show you how it works. Let's create a persistent profile. As you can see here, I can start, stop, and resume the browser, and SurfSky saves everything. Cookies, local storage, even service workers. This means you don't have to worry about constantly resetting states in your scripts. Now, let me show you an example of how we can use SurfSky to scrape data from Amazon. I've already set up Puppeteer to interact with SurfSky's API. First, we retrieve the product name, price, and ratings. What's great about SurfSky is its built-in proxy support, including SOX5, OpenVPN, and even SSH. This makes it super versatile for scraping sites like Amazon. Here's a quick script that scrapes product details. SurfSky seamlessly handles proxy settings and fingerprint spoofing in the background so we can focus on getting the data we need. Another cool feature is the Scraping API. Much like Scraping B, SurfSky provides a REST API, allowing you to interact with websites directly without writing heavy code. It's simple but very effective. During testing, I didn't run into any major limitations, though I did notice a minor inconvenience. There's no web-based admin panel yet, but they provide Grafana charts, where you can track the number of instances running and pending. It's not a big deal, but something to note for now. So, if you're like me and have been missing these features for years, like persistent profiles and deep browser spoofing, SurfSky is definitely worth a try. And since it's in open testing, you can use it for free right now. Why not give it a shot? Happy Amazon Web Scraping!